So, so we, we couldn't calculate quantum probabilities without imaginary numbers. Exactly. Quantum probabilities are called quantum amplitudes and they're imaginary numbers. And so I is right in there. If imaginary numbers are at the heart of quantum mechanics, then presumably they are an inherent part of the universe. Or are they merely a mathematical construct? In other words, were imaginary numbers discovered or invented? Oh, well, that's the key question, one of the key questions in the philosophy of mathematics. Some mathematical concepts seem so necessary that you think that if, if someone hadn't invented them, someone else would have, or, or something similar. There's an inevitability to these. Yeah, numbers. but some mathematical concepts don't seem that necessary. They seem more like artistic creation. I've spoken to some mathematicians, and they talk about mathematics as being a game whereby you make up some rules and then you just see what results and the games that result are sort of the theorems. Is that, is that yes, a fair that's way to one look view. Thing? That's one view, but mathematicians will only choose a game that's beautiful and there's, there's more than that. Mathematics and physics really co-evolved and a lot of mathematics was either suggested or was invented in order to, to do physics. So, so if I'm a mathematician, I want to come up with some new rules and play some new games. One, it has to be an interesting, beautiful game if anyone's going to listen to me. And exactly. secondly, it has to somehow kind of tie in with the real world if, if again, well, that physicists helps. are going to listen to me. And mathematicians don't like to admit it, but if you look back at the history of mathematics, a lot of important mathematics was developed because it seemed to be a pattern or a game that nature or God also plays, not just a game that one mathematician invented one Sunday. <laughs> afternoon when he had nothing to do. Mathematicians seem to be continually inventing or discovering new numbers. Negative numbers, zero, fractions, irrationals and imaginary numbers. As far as the German mathematician Leopold Kronecker was concerned, the simple counting numbers were created by God. All else is the work of man. Which makes me wonder what other numbers will emerge. If real numbers can be thought of as a ruler in one dimension and imaginaries lie on a ruler in the second dimension, is there another type of number in the third dimension? The natural place to go to turns out not to be three dimensions, but four, with two more new gadgets as well as the imaginaries. And these were called the Quaternions. They were invented by William Rowan Hamilton. There's a story he got so excited when he invented them that he carved the equations into the stonework of a bridge. So almost every century a new type of number seems to be invented. With accelerating speed as you get to modern times, and it's not actually finished, there's still some new ones floating around, the number system is not simply fixed forever, it's something people are constantly adding to. And that's the crucial message. Mathematics is a dynamic subject, with new numbers continually entering the arena.